Hey guys, what's up? It is time to unbox our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of July. And I got it in a big box this month, even though I don't particularly remember any of my products being bigger. Granted, so I always peek uh, whenever they release the spoilers. I, I can't wait, I just can't. Um, but it's been, this box definitely came later than usual, so I don't quite remember everything that's in here. Um, with that being said, if you're unaware of what Ipsy is, it is a makeup, makeup, <laughs> it's a makeup uh, subscription service. Uh, so depending on which one you choose, this is the middle tier box. There is Ipsy Glam Bag, there's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and then there's Ultimate. Um, but with Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, you get five products per month that are customized or curated for you based on your preferences and um, you know your skin color, hair color, eye color, etc. And they send it to you. Um, sometimes it comes with a bag, sometimes it doesn't. Currently it is coming with a bag, which we'll get into later because they have also just announced that starting in August, they are trying this thing where they pick two products for you and you pick the other three, which I'm actually very excited about because I was thinking about canceling my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, or if not canceling, then maybe skipping a couple of months, but I think this might be a real game changer for them. So let's dive on in. So first thing we're gonna look at is the card. It says, take a break. Um, airplane mode, your phone, put up a mental do not disturb. It's time to re-energize, whether it's a living room dance party or a bowl lipstick. Take a break from the ordinary, let loose and go with the flow. Where will it take you? So it just gives you tips on basically how to chill out and you know maybe do some self care type stuff. Um, they've definitely gotten away from doing the personalized cards with like your products on them. Uh, so that's probably about as much as I'm going to look at that. Anyways, let's look at the first product and the first product I'm seeing now that I remember it is the product that I chose. It is the complex culture. I believe it was a blush brush. It is a blush and contour brush. Um, I wasn't super thrilled about the options um, that we were given as far as the product we chose this month. Um, so usually when that happens, I choose the main, or the, you know, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The option, or it's a tool, a makeup tool. <laughs> Thank you for traveling on this journey with me. Um, so let's look at this bad boy. I do like complex culture. I do remember the other brush that they sent me a couple months ago. Um, it's actually very interesting and it's very soft to the touch. Good, uh, I was gonna say mouthfeel. That's, that's just wrong. It's just a nice soft touch. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Kudos to you if you're still watching. <laughs> Let's look at our next product. Um, and the next thing that's jumping out at me is this Color Boss Multi-Dimensional Eye Color by Il Maquillage. Uh, so they had a couple different versions or different colors uh, that we could have gotten. Um, and I think maybe that, oh, this is in the color News Flash. So we will open this up and that might take a couple minutes because this is some intricate packaging. Oh, okay, JK. Oh, that was fun. It like opens up like that. I'm easily amused, so please ignore me. Um, anyway, so we're gonna open that up. It's a nice brown color. I do like that color. Let's swatch it and see if I can give you guys a decent swatch on my hand. It's very pretty. It's very shiny or glam, if you will. So. I don't not like it. I do like it. I do have probably at least one brown similar to this in my collection. Um, not something I would have chosen for myself per se, which is again, part of the reason why I'm thinking about either skipping a month or just canceling altogether because I do have a lot of products. But anyways, uh, let's look at the next product, which is by Nature's Cartel. I don't quite remember what it is, but it's, it's a shimmer lip gloss. Okay, by Nature's Cartel. I don't know if I quite remember this product. And 
And oh, okay. That's it's literally just like a shimmer lip gloss. They weren't lying when they said shimmer lip gloss. Let's swatch this bad boy. Oh, it's showing up a little pinky for me when I swatch this. We'll see what how it shows up on camera. But it's pretty. This time of year, I do a lot of lip glosses um, because it's very hot here in Texas and very I get very sweaty. Um, and in general, I just try to do very like light, no makeup makeup looks, if that makes sense. So that way, if it all melts off because I'm sweating it off, it doesn't matter. No one can tell. Uh, the next product I'm looking at is the Ofra highlighter, which I believe this was the Nikki tutorial, tutorial, tutorials, that's what I'm trying to say, um, combo, what's the word I'm trying to say? She worked with Ipsy on this one, or with Oprah maybe more specifically, um, but it's in glazed donut, which now I just want a glazed donut, so thanks a lot, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and swatch this. Well, that's pretty, it reminds me, it almost matches like the lip gloss. Cause yeah, it's down here, but isn't that pretty? I do like that. I like that a lot. That might be too bold for me, but once I get really pale in the winter, it might be something I use a lot. <laughs> and then I think this is the last product for the box. Um, we have a set of three uh, sheet masks by Midflower. They are hyaluronic acid moisturizing invisible masks. So. Listen, last month they sent me six, six masks, six, six face masks, max, six face masks, and only getting three this month. I'm, I'm just going to be disappointed from now on because now the bar for me is they sent me six that one month. So why aren't they sending me six every time? But either way, these do... Um, look like pretty high quality face masks. Um, I do enjoy a good face mask. It is a very much an integral part of my skincare routine. Um, another thing we're going to look at is I had to use up my points, otherwise they're going to expire. And there wasn't anything I was super thrilled about. But what did intrigue me was this invigorating hand and body lotion. Um, and I don't, I don't know the brand. I'm Sorry, I'll probably, oh, I think it's Way of Will and it's manufactured in Canada. Um, so this is the scent Sweet Orange and Elemy, whatever Elemy is. Um, so I do, so you know those Bath and Body Works lotions where like one of them's like energized and the other one's like calm and one is relaxing. This, I was hoping this would kind of be like the energized one based on the scent. So we're gonna smell this. can't actually smell it. And the bottle it's in is not super helpful for getting it out. So that's kind of a bummer. It's like, you know what, I'm just gonna have to like stick. Oh, that is a thick lotion. Oh my goodness. There we go. So I don't know how I'm gonna get the rest of that lotion out considering I just had to stick my pinky finger in there. Um, but that is thick and that is very nice actually. It is very luxurious. This is something I'm definitely going to be trying or at least fighting with this winter when my hands get really awful like they do every winter. Oh, but I like that. Oh, it's not quite the same scent as that uh, Bath and Body Works energizing one, but it is nice. So, eh, on the applicability of getting it or the ease of use of getting the actual product out of the bottle. But the scent is nice. It's nice and thick. It is going to moisturize your hands. And then the last thing we're gonna look at for this box is the bag they sent with it. Um, now the texture of this bag is a little different. It's very much like a bag you would take to the pool. It's kind of like a plasticky and waterproof. Um, it's a cute little bag, but, um, oh, also I just realized the little charm is an airplane. So again, very cute. Um, but as far as practi practicality, probably will never use it because I already have 5 million Ipsy bags um, and no one's taking vacation for like ever now because thanks COVID. But apparently from here on out, 
we might actually get some decent sized bags because something else that they announced when um, they announced that we're getting to do a little bit more customization with our bags where they pick two and we pick three products um, is that they're going to try to do, I think they called it a satchel if I remember it correctly. Um, and hypothetically it's going to hold all of the products that we get every month. So that's pretty exciting. So now before I end this video, I do like to go over the products that I got from last month's Ipsy and tell you guys uh, what I thought about them after I've had some time to use them and incorporate them in different makeup looks or if they're skincare, see how my skin's reacting to them. Um, I think it's really, that's part of something I wish that a lot of more people included in their Ipsy reaction videos is where they actually like how they were used. Also Sophie's here, hi. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Okay, can we move on? Okay, we're gonna move on. So the first product I wanna go over is this highlighter. I wasn't really able to show you guys too much about it last month because the one they sent me actually came broken. This is the replacement one they sent me and they sent it pretty fast. Um, like I said, Ipsy's customer service has always been pretty good as far as I'm aware. Um, I do actually really like it. Um, and it's called Flesh and it is very much like very similar to like, it's a very subtle highlighter, but in a, in a very good way, especially because I feel like the super vibrant, like obvious, like I'm going to blind you with my highlighter highlighters are kind of going out of style. So I very, this might be my new like go-to highlighter, especially for this time of year where I was discussing how I like to do a no makeup makeup look. So very pleased with this. The next product we will talk about is the Ciate London uh, Marbled Metals Wicked Eyeshadow. Um, and I tried it, if I remember correctly, I actually used this in my eye look for the Stitch Fix video that I posted earlier this month. Um, it actually is kind of hard to get onto a brush. So I almost, I'm thinking if I use this again, I might actually just use my finger, um, which not the most hygienic thing, but I just haven't found a brush. Like it was really hard to pick up with a brush. Um, the color, it is one of those like buildable, buildable colors. Um, so you can go just for a very subtle look or you can go full like sparkle and glam if you so desire. So in the end, I actually like this more than I thought it was going to. Um, but with that being said, this is not a color, this dark purple color is just not something I'm going to gravitate to unless it's like Halloween. But it'll be in my collection for Halloween if I decide to do something fun. The next thing we're gonna talk about is this lip gloss by Thrive Cosmetics in the color Effie. I'm actually wearing it now and I layered it up a lot. I thought this was a really fun color for summer. It's kind of reminds me of like watermelon. Um, with that being said, I love lip glosses this time of year. I do have more lip glosses than I would care to admit, but I don't, <laughs> I'm not mad about it. So I'm pretty happy with this product. Um, and it just has the very slightest like touch of color on it, which I think is really fun because my lips are definitely not nearly this like cute and pinky. Um, the next one is the last one I can show you in person. It is the Nasific Fresh Herb Origin Eye Cream. Um, this is only the second uh, eye cream product I've used. Um, the first one I tried actually, I had like a reaction and I was like breaking out all along like the line between my bags and my actual cheeks, skin, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, but this one, uh, actually I ended up liking a lot. This is very helpful in making sure your under eye area is nice and moisturized and for removing those bags. So would recommend. Um, and then lastly, the last product that I got last month was the set of six face masks that they sent. Very much enjoyed those face masks. Those were very nice, moisturizing, high quality face masks would get again, would not be angry if I got again, I should say, even though normally the whole thing about Ipsy is that you don't get repeat products. I'm sorry my child has been so chatty. I don't know what she wants. We already spent lots of time together playing this morning, but that's how children are. Am I right or am I right? Anyways, if you're still watching, thanks so much uh, for staying tuned and uh, doing all the things that make 
people want to watch my YouTube videos for some reason. Um, if you like this video, consider doing all the happy Facebook, Facebook, YouTube algorithm things, uh, such as liking and thumbs upping and all that jazz. Stay safe, stay happy, have a great day.